Welcome to the story, The Ant Hill. The winter was over. In the throne room, the queen spoke to the youngest ants. It was a very important moment before going out to look for food for the first time. Remember, the work you do is vital for our home. Pampy was there. She was smaller than the others and was a little scared. And if we get attacked, they say it's dangerous out there. That is true, but don't be afraid. Hercules will protect you. Ants are insects that live in colonies of millions of individuals. There are worker ants and a queen in an ant colony. They eat leaves, sticks, and other dead insects. Their mandibles are very powerful. Ant colonies are spaces that ants build and use as a refuge to live in and store their food. They're made up of tunnels and entrances they carry food through. Hercules arrived at the ant hill. He was tall and strong. Thank you for coming, Hercules. We'd be honored for you to work at our ant hill. Thank you, Your Majesty, but I'd prefer to defend the colony instead of carrying food or working in the pantry. The queen agreed that Hercules should defend them from spider and frog attacks. Ladybugs are insects that live on leaves. They have a round body that is red with black polka dots. They have antennae and wings they use to fly. They feed on fleas, mealybugs, and other small insects. The stag beetle is an insect in the beetle family. It lives in gardens, parks, and other places it can find wood. It feeds on tree sap and nectar. Pampy and the other ants left every morning for food. If there was any danger, Hercules warned them so they could run away. It's strange. There's always a threat right when we find the best food. One day, Pampy stumbled on a chocolate cake. She called the rest of the ants. As they were about to grab it, Hercules shouted, to the anthill, quick! There are wasps coming! All the ants ran. All but Pampy. She hid in the grass. When everyone was gone, Hercules took off the armor. He was a regular ant. Then he started eating the cake. No wasps came, and Pampy got really angry. She had discovered that Hercules was a liar. Wasps are flying insects. They have two pairs of wings, antennae, and a stinger. Only females have stingers, and they're well known for their stings. They feed on flowers and other insects. Dragonflies are one of the fastest insects thanks to their long, thin wings. They feed on other insects like butterflies, flies, and bees. They live near water, in lake and river areas. When she got back to the anthill, Pampy told her two best friends what she'd seen. The three of them made a plan. They organized a party for Hercules. 
I propose a toast to Hercules the Brave. Suddenly, they heard shouting from one of the tunnels. A spider had gotten into the ant hill. Hercules, defend us! If you could take the wasps, a spider will be easy. Its hairy legs poked through the opening of the tunnel. The spider must have been very big. Hercules looked at them in horror. Spiders are arachnids. They feed on other animals trapped in the webs they weave. They have poisonous glands, and their bites can be fatal. Australian spiders are the most dangerous. Friends, I can't defeat this spider. I'm not what I appear to be. Hercules took off his costume. He didn't look like a strong ant anymore. All of the ants were shocked, and then they were terrified. If Hercules couldn't protect them, it was all over. Don't be afraid. There's no spider here. Her friends came out of the tunnel holding two branches. Pampy explained how they'd found out about Hercules. I'm sorry I lied to you. What I did was wrong, and I'm sorry. Hercules, your lie put us in danger. If you want to live here, you need to work and never lie again. Butterflies are flying insects. They start out as larvae, turn into pupae, and then adults. They feed on leaves, flowers, seeds, and grains. Butterflies have very short lives and sometimes only live one day. In this story, you learn that you should never lie to others. You should always tell the truth. Sometimes lies can hurt the people you love. For everything to work out, we all have to work together. Like in the ant hill, teamwork is a very important value. Just like every year, thousands of fish had arrived at the Great Barrier Reef. That was where they held the Reef Cup. It was the most important underwater race in the world. Blaze and her friend Bubbles were at the starting line. It would be really great to win the Reef Cup. Yeah, we've trained a lot all year long. Standing next to her was Shox, the electric eel. She had won the last two races. Everybody knew she was capable of doing anything it took to win. Overhearing them, she said, This year, I'm going to win the cup again. Eels are a fish that are shaped like snakes. They can grow up to six and a half or eight feet long and weigh up to 44 pounds. They can discharge electrical shocks if they feel threatened to protect themselves. Sea turtles are reptiles with flat bodies, a shell, and extremities in the shape of fins. They live in the open sea, in shallow lagoons, or in coral reefs. At the start of the race, the fish swam through the coral and seaweed. During the race, they could encounter many dangers. Strong currents, moray eels, and fearsome sharks. Blaze and Bubbles swam speedily and moved to the front. Shocks closed in from behind. They saw how she shot a spark at a fish in front of her. Did you see that? They should disqualify her. 
They would if they saw it. But she's very clever. Let's keep going. Octopuses are mollusks. Tentacles with lines of suction cups come out of their huge head. They use their tentacles to move around and defend themselves from other animals by shooting ink at them. Blowfish live in deep water and in coral reefs. They have large spines and can fill up with air and water to make themselves bigger. That way, other animals can't eat them. Blaze and Bubbles came out of a tunnel. They swam rapidly, hoping to avoid any sharks. Then, they saw that something was falling from the surface. Look out! Get out of the way, Bubbles! It was a white microwave. It had a glass door that opened and closed like a shark's mouth. It had been thrown by somebody who didn't care about polluting the ocean. Bubbles didn't react in time and was trapped inside the appliance. He was very scared to see that he was falling into the deep. The manta ray is a fish that lives in warm waters around the world. Other fish looking for protection or to feed off its leftovers attach to the underside of its body. Did you know that they can jump out of the water like sharks and dolphins? Dolphins are mammals that live in the water. They are highly social and live in groups of around 20. Did you know that dolphins can make a wide range of sounds? Coral reefs are communities of living beings with a huge diversity of corals, seaweed species, invertebrates, and fish. Did you know that they're also known as the forests of the sea? Blaze was in first place. She could win the Reef Cup, but she would never have been able to forgive herself if something happened to her friend. Seeing Shocks, Blaze asked her for help. Shocks, my friend is in danger. Please, could you help me rescue him? I can't do it alone. And lose the reef cup? No way. Good luck with the rescue. And she swam off. Blaze didn't hesitate and swam towards the microwave. She was afraid for her friend. She hit the glass with her head, but nothing happened. She tried to open the door with an oyster shell, but that didn't work either. All of the fish in the race passed above her, but Blaze didn't care. Finally, she discovered a button, and when she pushed it, the door opened. Bubbles was free! Crabs are invertebrates from the crustacean family that live near or in the water. They have ten legs they use to swim and move around. Their front legs are shaped like pincers and they use them to pick up food. Seahorses are fish that live in warm water and are endangered. Unlike other fish, they swim in a vertical position. Did you know that their name comes from the fact that their head looks like a horse's?
Blaze and Bubbles crossed the finish line in last place, and the crowd cheered. Everyone knew that Blaze had chosen to save her friend instead of winning the race. Right then, a giant octopus announced the name of the winner. Shox proudly came forward to collect her prize, but nobody cheered for her. We have decided to award a special prize. For her loyalty to her friend, and for her behavior during the race, Blaze will receive the Cup of Sportsmanship. Jellyfish are invertebrate marine animals. They live in warm and tropical waters. Their bodies are gelatinous and shaped like bells, and they have long tentacles. Their tentacles have cells that excrete venom as a defense mechanism. Starfish are echinoderms. Their bodies are made up of a central piece that five arms are connected to. They live on the bottom of the sea in coral reefs or seaweed forests. Blaze was happy. It was a golden cup, much bigger than the reef cup. She shared it with her friend Bubbles. All of the fish cheered and chanted their names. Shox, embarrassed, left with her cup. That day, she had learned that in sports, winning isn't everything. I can't sleep. I'm scared. What are all those noises? Is it something bad? Don't be afraid, Penny. There are lots of things that make noises and have their own beat and music. Come with us and we'll show you. In a band, each instrument makes a different sound. And together, they make beautiful songs. Look how well our friends play. I like dancing. Look how good I am. I've got rhythm. Woohoo! At night, we hear noises that sometimes scare us because we don't know where they come from. Listen to them carefully and discover how good some of them sound. Penny, can you hear the sound of the waves? They sound so relaxing and their rhythm helps us sleep tight. Kids, come on in! The water's great! Careful, don't step on the crabs, there are lots of them. Sometimes that sound you hear at night is a pleasant surprise. It might be your friends getting ready for a party next door. What do you think, Penny? Want to join the rhythm? <laughs> The Golden Coin Sam went to the market. His dad gave him a few coins to buy food. There were also people selling cloth and jewels. I'd like some bread and five eggs, please. That will be eight coins, young man. That was all he had because his family was poor. His two younger sisters and his mother could eat that. 
Sam looked at the old man who was in front of him. He was wearing a red robe and had a cane. He saw something fall from his pocket. It was a golden coin. The Middle Ages were a historical period that began with the fall of the Roman Empire and ended with the discovery of the Americas or the invention of the printing press. Medieval cities were characterized by having a castle, big walls, and fortresses. Sam picked up the coin. He thought of all the things he could buy with it. When he sees him, the butcher asks, would you like a bit of meat? A chicken, maybe? Sam didn't know what to say. He looked at the people selling blankets. His mother needed a blanket. Was that the right thing to do, though? Something was telling him no. In medieval markets, townspeople could buy and trade food, grains, spices, fabrics, jewels, and much more. Peasants sold goods from the fields and animals. There were also activities like music, theater, and painting. Sam made a decision. He ran up to the old man and called to him. Excuse me, sir. You dropped this coin. Thank you. You did the right thing. Can I ask you for a favor? I have to bring this letter to the palace, but I'm very old, very old and very tired. Could you take it? You mustn't open it. Sam nodded yes and took the letter. To get to the palace, he'd have to cross the forest. Walls were constructions made of stone to protect cities and castles. They were also used to separate territories or to make borders. They had watchtowers, which were built to watch out for any enemies trying to climb over the walls. A castle is a kind of construction that was very characteristic of the Middle Ages. They were protected by walls and sometimes by a surrounding moat. Kings and nobles lived there. Castles also had a military function to defend cities. The forest was dark. Sam approached the Fountain of Temptations. There, there was a statue that could speak. I'm sorry, I hadn't seen you. I'm in a hurry. I have to take this letter to the royal palace. That's so interesting. What does the letter say? I don't know. They told me I can't open it. It must be very important. It could be a treasure map or the ingredients for a potion to cure a disease. Why don't you open it? What if the statue was right? The letter could be the solution to problems. Sam decided to open the envelope. Suddenly, the letter burst into flames. He couldn't read it. The old man appeared at his side. He was sad. I'm sorry, the statue tricked me and I opened the letter. That letter would have given you a big surprise. What a shame. You're not the person I was looking for. Since Sam had given him back the coin, the old man gave him some food as a reward. Even so, he went home sad because he had failed him. Sam looks at the letter and decides not to open it. He'd given the old man his word. He continued along his path until he reached the royal palace. He went to see the king. Welcome, Sam. I believe you have a message for me. Yes, your majesty. The old man told me it was very important. The king took the letter from Sam. 
He was very pleased because Sam had kept his promise not to open the envelope. Sam, I am an old king and have no children. I have been searching for someone good, good and honest like you. You are that person. I hereby name you my heir. You will be the new king. Sam was a good and honest boy. He demonstrated it by giving the old man back the coin and by delivering the letter to the king in a closed envelope, just like he promised. If you want to learn more, click on more videos and subscribe to the Smile and Learn channel and you'll stay up to date with new adventures.